here we are, we're going on a walk round. And why have we come today, Barbara? And we've come today because the place is closing down on the 8th of January 2002. And it's a very sad day because this cinema has been closing for the last, well, when you and I worked together. Uh, at least five years. Or even more, or yeah. Or more than that, yeah. And you've actually found out it's going to close. Absolutely. And this one day, in it, well, years ago, was a very, very premier West End Showcase Theatre. It was so. the premier yes. West End Showcase Theatre. Mm -hmm. Ask Martin, he'll tell you that. Yes. So we're going to have a look around. We are. Thank you. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I've got keys as well for the outside. Yeah, it's just, just 911. You've got all the stuff. I'm trying to think of the code. 9188. If we go outside and go up that way. Nine one double eight. Who are these people? They've got clue. <laughs> I think I know this building very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know the code, do you? Ah, yes. 4199. Okay. What is it? 4199. 4199A. And the safe combination for the video references. <laughs> <laughs> because before you said I took over, this was CIC, wasn't it, Barbara? <laughs> yes. And this was the head office for CIC, wasn't it? Yes, it was. The booking office and everything. And we're outside at the screen one. Do you want to do the same? Oh yeah, I just this is screen one. This is Plaza One. And originally when this opened up as a twin, it had a floating screen. And these tabs were put in afterwards, and you can see the screen through the tabs. And when I was here, we held so many preview th screenings. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> But the level we're on now is where the old bar used to be in the old single screen. Oh, is it? I believe so. It was around here somewhere. Please, sir. We're looking down from screen one entrance to the foyer. We've got the kiosk there. As I said before, we've had so many special screenings here. So many VIPs coming up these stairs. And this exit way is the way to projection room one. Now we just left screen one area. We're in the foyer now. And this cinema used to have two circles, the mezzanine, which is the level we're on now, and the stores, which was underneath, and this is the Royal Box. And that's the private toilet there for the Royal Box. Now this Royal Box we're in, it's just got three or four seats in and a few tables, and we're sat in here with directors like Ridley Scott, watching movies. Um, and you can actually see the film from here. What about Florida? Oh, 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 John, yeah. Because he goes, what do you mean we're not allowed alcohol in number two? Oh, yeah, said, we oh, just got... Oh, it's on our licence, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Well, I used to sit in there with Ridley Scott and mm. have alcohol. Mm -hmm. I said, yep. well, probably in the raw box, yeah. yeah. What used to happen, Ridley, every time we had the film, was always going to UIP. Um, uh, not in the latter years, but he used to always have a private screening for all his friends. Yeah. And he used to always be here, number two. So we were with his, uh, uh, Garth Thomas used to do a lot of stuff for him. And we'd be in there with the vodka and just thinking, oh, that'd be fantastic. And Ridley would be there all nervous, you know. Yeah. Yes, that's what show business all, is Absolutely. all about. Absolutely. You've got to have the vodka going and the yeah. wine and everything. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And this door here is the other side of projection room two, which I think we're going to go into now. So nice being back. Okay. 
and the toilet's just to the left, but we don't want to go that. Yes. And here we are in projection room two. Hello there. Hello. Sorry to disturb you. Sorry. We're just filming the cinema. And in here we, we've got a platter and we've got a DP70 and a DP75. And when I was here we showed lots of 70 millimeter. I'm making prints in here at the moment. And I'm making spools. DP75 Ah oh, now just taking off the 70mm sprocket DPS These are really, really beautiful portals. And they've got this automation here that was made. Oh, it's got future projections on it, but this was not future projections automation. It's been here for a long, long time. It was a bastardized version of Brett and Ward. And we've got a DP70. And we've got a spotlight that's in the way. Got this 70 mil over. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, we, do you know Thomas from Copenhagen? Thomas. Uh, it, he loves the DP70, yeah. Get him here. Mm. Just want um, bigger. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We will buy that for sale, seriously. Yeah, I mean, they've been talking to Sarah this week about Sarah said, you know, the only things we've got are here projectors that are worth money. That one's worth nothing, this one's worth nothing. Oh, your DP75 is not a nice machine at all, but I mean, these are old, but they are such a good projector. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what, what I'm getting done is getting Peter Hall to price some all up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, you know. <laughs> My friend. Yeah, Peter will take them all off you. Yeah. He will, yeah. Well, he, he certainly will. He'll yeah, have, yeah. He'll have any. Yeah, he I mean, have he'll take it off your hand. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll find these on a city screen somewhere. Yeah. He offers you 25 quid, you know, you can get 50 quid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The lamp is useless. This projector is probably worth more money than the rest of the cinema put together. Really. In box one and box two, where we are, we've got a DP75 and yeah. a DP70. Do you know the story about this? Yeah. Originally, when it was a single screen, the two DP70s were in box one. Right. And, and then when they did the, the twin, they bought two DP75s, so we had two DP70s in box one. Yeah. And two DP seventy five to box two, but because the DP seventies is the best machine, cheap, going back thirty years, they swapped them over. So they got a DP seventy five in one box yeah. with a DP seventy. So both boxes have the same two projectors. And just to the left of the DP seventy five is an FP twenty. You know what's in rather three and four. Yeah. So these two boxes had three projectors. Because in those days they used to show 70 millimeter a lot, yeah, yeah. And, and this was used all the time in 70, being the best machine. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to bring up back 70 mil just for a session. Yes. But um, the kids on my phone are doing it. No, they did it with 2001, and they did it with Lawrence. Yeah. Yeah. You were saying the Kers and Mayfair has been doing 70 mil, and you were going to do it here. The Kers and Mayfair did it instead. Yeah, they. Um, 
also did the 2001. Yes. Where you were told afterwards, can we do like one five? Yes. For sort of two to three week process. Yes. Um, and they were trying to get in what they could, basically. Uh huh. Um, but it was just going to be too, you know, cost effective. Uh huh. But as, as it as it worked out, 2001 actually made the cost of the print oh, at Mayfair, yeah. but no one knew it was going to take so exactly. much money. But yeah. it really did, you know. Yeah. But we, we used to run here, uh, even before my days, but even in my day when I was at the Empire and here, we had like three years, on three or four years, sent to me all the time. And then somebody would leave the Empire, come here, play number one, then come down here and spend 12 months in this cinema. You know, and I've just seen a photo which I did on my computer. Look at that, Steve. That's what the plaza looked like, and this is where we are now. This is the projection room. That's plaza one, that's plaza two, and at the back is three and four. And this is projection room on the foyer street level. Oh, I mean, this used to be such a gorgeous theatre. And I don't know, but Paul, the manager, used to be here a couple yeah. of years ago. Barbara knows. Um, you can go through the voyage, which you're not allowed to do, I never did. And there's a hole somewhere, and actually you can crawl through and see the old plaster work. But because it's so dangerous, I mean, me being a coward, I didn't do it, you know, but Paul actually saw it. So when they actually knocked the inside of this building down, yeah. you've got a lot of history that is going to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 avoiding screen one, you, you can actually see where the old surround speakers used to be on the wall when it was a single screen. And if you look back, which hopefully we can do, if you yeah. look back, and not to go in the void, just look, look in, yeah. if you look back and you see where the clock was on the wall. Oh, so wow. this building got so much, yeah. you know, history. This is the sound rack where we have a CP200. This was installed by Max Bell, even though it says future projections, it was actually installed by Max Bell. And um, please don't shout to me, Peter. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not being funny. <laughs> it probably sounds it, but this was installed by Max in both Plaza 1 Plaza 2. <laughs> now, this is the sort of staff room, or not the proper staff room, but it's like a switch room, but we use it as a staff room because everything is made up and broke down in Plaza 2. It's a beautiful foyer. This is the Plaza 4, but we're going outside to the Plaza Suites, which had lots of offices in, which made lots of money for the company. The Plaza is located just south of Piccadilly Circus. The Plaza Theatre was built for and operated by Paramount Pictures Incorporated. It was designed by Frank T. Verity and opened on the 1st of March 1926. This is the old Plaza Suite and the offices were up on levels. We used to do the alarm tests in here. It's every sort of week we come down and test all the alarms. Yeah, yeah. that's what cost it. Yeah, right. No more though. There's nobody in the plaza suite now, no, is there? No, no. I mean, that's down to the ladies. Yes. In the basement. Mm -hmm. The plaza was sumptuously decorated, and it seated 1,896, divided between royal circle, mezzanine, and stalls. Small stage and live acts were a feature of the program in the early days. This included the famous Plaza Tiller Girls. It was also equipped with a Wurlitzer 3 manual 15 ranks theatre organ, with piano attachment, and it also had a cafe. People don't realise what are behind yeah, the scenes. All this back, but you can get in through the other bit. This is some of the old CIC officers, is it? No, this isn't. I mean, this is the sort of thing you don't find in the multiplex. What makes a cinema like this so interesting? Nice up here, 
Now we're coming up to the front corner of the building. And there we have it. There used to be lots of pigeons in here. And this is the back of the radiograph on the front corner of the plaza. This should be a plant room, this I think. Just to their um, projection stuff. Ah, right, yeah. Have we come this far up, have we? Ah, yeah. I didn't realise that. We have walked right around the front okay. of the building and have reached Plaza One right. projection staff room. You've just brought us up right round the side of the building, past the, the corner where the radiograph is outside, and we're now up on the level of box one. Now, what we're standing in now is the old projection room of the old Plaza Cinema. Uh, and this is actually the staff room of the cinema now. And when you when you actually look up, you can see the flows in the ceiling where the, the, the extract was for the carbons. So you think this as a room was the projection room. Yeah. Now this cinema in its day was equipped with Vista Vision. This projection room um, in the days of Ten Commandments that originally came out in Vista Vision, which meant, you know, like now that the projector, the film goes vertically down. Well, Vista Vision was 35mm frame, yeah. but it went sideways, so you could have double the width. Yeah. So you have a very big picture image, and you're not blowing it up as much as you would do if it was just vertically going down. So you had a really good picture. So they had two Vista Vision projectors up here, plus two 35mm projectors, and then as time went on, they had the two DB70s. So this was the projection room of the old cinema. Now the current projection room, which we'll go down in a moment, is actually counter-levered. And when you actually stood in the projection room, you feel it move all of a sudden, because it's balanced, and as heavy traffic goes rumbling past outside, it actually does move. We were forever cutting new plates. You know the actual plate that gives yeah. you the picture? Yeah, okay. We were forever cutting new plates, because for some reason, this and the Empire of the Road you know, you'd open up one day, a picture would be on the screen, open up another day, it'd be to one side or one side. I mean, we've always got a new place, but this box was always moving. It does actually bounce. Um, I don't know why, but we always had so many problems here with plates. Remember, we had Shelter in the Sky, which we got 70 mil um, from, I think it was Marble Arch. And we cut a plate for it. It wasn't full 70 mil. It was a 185 picture, but blown up to 70 mil, so it didn't fill the full screen. So we got a loop and we cut the... the the aperture plate to see the size of the picture. Then on the morning I said to the chief then, come on, we'll just check, check this. It was all out, and yet we cut it perfectly. But always happened in this building. But a fascinating place, and there's many a thing, not with me, unfortunately, that's happened up in this project, in this staff room. I can tell you from some of the lads I know up here, I tell you with the, no, we won't go into that. But, you know, it's a typical projection staff room. At one time, they built uh, a false ceiling across, right? before my day, but the fire chief came in and said it was a fire hazard and took it all down and said, you, you've got the ceiling, if you want to just show us, Steve, the way it is now. And that was like, because uh, in, in the old days, film was nitrate, so we, and that used to go on fire. And that's why you had all these, so it, you know, take the air out. But, yeah, so it's just really, really sad knowing this is all going to go. Mm. Yeah, really, really bad. But this, as I say, this was one of the major showcase theatres in its day, you know, it's a shame, and that couch, that used to be Chinese couch, but absolutely, that was, that was known as, yeah, <laughs> I'll leave your imagination, yeah, yeah. it can't go far wrong, no, no. she hides a lot of asherettes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> should we go to the box one, yeah, <laughs> I'm not even getting into that, <laughs> That's what I was saying about box one, it's actually halfway down the theatre and it's counter-levered. 
and you do you do feel it move every now and again. We'll have a look there in a minute, that's the void, it's a box one, which you can't go in, but you can actually see if you have a torch, you know. Now this is box one, which is somewhat like a mirror image of box two. It's got the same front wall, beautiful black wall, same size portals, and it's just the same as box two, DP75 and a DP70. Here we are, went to DP75. What we're just saying about the um, Plato is moving. Now, Steve just pans to his left. You'll see on here, this is always the case. You always have to do something because the plate never, for whatever reason, stays the same. But as I say, here we are, the plate does work. So we have a DP75, the old Cat 700 SRD. Because this is one of the very first days to get us out of the, the Empire S square being the first, and I guess the OGN S square the second. So we, we've got the DP70 here, which is the 71 mm machine. I don't know what they've been doing with it, because it's absolutely filthy. <laughs> but we're going to show you that. Have a look at that, Steve. When I was here, we used to have both projectors lined up to what the feature presentation was. So say something happened on the main projector, you could swap the film over and actually run on the other machine. But when you when you look at this machine, I don't know what they've been doing, but I mean, that is really, that is outrageous. That is really outrageous. <laughs> but anyway, obviously they, they don't know anything about it, so it's not their fault, you know. This is the old rack system that Max Bell put in in Plaza 1. Well, we're in Plaza 1, but you're in 1 and 2. So the CP200 is still working, but uh, Andre has since put in UCI amplifiers. Who did it? Andre. Yeah. <laughs> This is a switch control panel that works with the automation. Right, this automation, as I said before, is a bastardized Gretton Ward. But well, basically is show open, show close, and the pins haven't altered since I was here. It's exactly the same pins, and these are all the spare pins, but they don't need them. That's the automation. This is a door, we can't go in because there's, there's asbestos in here and everything. Although they've got all the safety gear. However, you can actually see it, it's too dark, so we can't see unfortunately. The old uh, surround speakers on the wall, the speaker's not there, but the frames are there. And just behind us there inside, you can see the old clock face. Again, the clock's not there, but you can see where it was, and you can see some of the old roses around the wall. And it's, it's fascinating, but like I say, it's too dark, we can't see it. But again, all that's going to go, so it's a shame. The world premiere of the David Lean film, Bridge on the River Kwai, was held at the Plaza Theatre on the 2nd of October 1957.
A gala European premiere of Darling was held on the 16th of September 1965. Uh, it's a two-way light switch and sometimes we used to get complaints the lights aren't on, but it's only two-way one side. Oh. So, you know, you think it was two-way, just got to be in the same position for that one to work. Oh. Really, really was weird. Oh. Yeah. A gala premiere of The Spy Who Came In From The Cold was held at the Plaza Theatre on the 13th of January 1966. The world premiere of Alfie was held at the Plaza Theatre on the 24th of March 1966. Right. Uh -huh. That was nice in the summer on the roof. Yeah. Hey, look at that roof, Steve. It's beautiful. And the battery room used to be on the roof. I don't know if it still is. People used to work in these offices for years and years and years and you know you wouldn't think you were in a cinema. Oh, but in here, everybody wanted this for um, a flat, didn't they, Barbara? Yes. Everybody wanted this. This is the dome. Okay. We're going to go up into it, but this was what they made a beautiful penthouse. And here we are at the top of the dome, aren't we? So, Sarah, you brought us up. We're at the very top of the plaza building now, aren't we? That's right. And it's this dome you can see. From outside, so we're actually in it. That's correct. Um, years ago, before my time, this used to be brightly lit up because it's all on the outside. You see it in the old photographs. And I think, if I'm right, there's a, there's a ladder going down the outside that swings around it. Yeah. So you can get up to clean the windows. And, oh, I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, no, but we're actually on the top of the building now. But I mean, this was like a posh office in its day. Now I see the cups are still there, it's like the Mary Celeste. <laughs> Mm. Amazing. Where's the old murals? On the top of the dome. There's like it's like green and there, can't you? In Gallant. Yeah. Yeah. But we need Colin to do that. I don't know. The doors it's, it's not locked, is it? I think they are. You might. Okay, we 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 carry on that way, we get to box one and we just backtrack. There's a door, I don't know if it's locked, it could yeah, be locked, but the one that you go out like that. That's shot onto the roof, yeah. Oh, this is really good, Barbara. It is. Yeah. I love this business. Yeah. It's my favourite bit. It's nice. This is the one I usually go up. Oh, really? We, well, we go to the bachelor room. We've only been out once. Ah, right. Ah, uh, you've <laughs> taken it. I mean, you've checked it, yes. <laughs> Toilet paper. Ah, oh, there you go. It says it, says it all, doesn't yeah. it? Kleenex, um, huggies. There yeah, we are, those are yeah. the evidence. <laughs> yeah. And this is the roof, Steve. This is just... Oh, right. So you don't have a reflection. That's it. I mean, it's quite a small office actually, but when yeah. you used to see people in here, um, you know, when you used to come back to the lamp or whatever, it was quite a busy little sort of thing, you know. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure who was in the what office, but, you know, it was good. And you always had the regular people that complained. Yes, yeah. the same ones all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. Other people just came in. But some people stayed here for years and yes. years, yeah. didn't they? And you used to have a guy on the door, didn't you, Barbara? Yes. Yeah. Oh. And the lift. This is all that creaky old lift, that was a, an old wooden lift, it's condemned now. Oh, it was a nightmare. Oh, yeah, the lift? There's yeah. There, but, God, that's a scary lift. Oh, God, I wouldn't go in it. I have been, but... Mm. Imagine what this was like when it was lit up and looking down on tables and desks and chairs. And it was really good.
Now where are we now, Sarah? We're on the roof. We're on the roof. Yeah. Wow. And the dome yes. is behind you. And there's the famous Plaza Dome. around there and you can get up to that yeah. tailbone. I don't know what that tailbone is. I don't know. But that all used to be lit up, I know, in the old photographs. Yeah. That's a battery room there. Yes, Sarah. We were here when that was getting built and that, oh. that caused us no end of problems with blocking our drains up and flooding us and all sorts of things like that. Gosh. And in the summer when you come out here with the sun shining on the ground, it's blinding. Yeah. 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 Not that we spent much time up here. No, not at no, all. No, we did, no. Is that your deck chair period then? Oh, I can't be saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's fabulous. It's a beautiful dome, isn't it? I'm so yes. glad they've got to keep it like this. The wall along the street that oh, leads right. onto Lower Regent Street and that dome is listed. So this side wall can, can go, go if need be? Yes, it can. Wow, but all what we're standing on is going, yes. so just the, the front wall. Yeah, the front wall and the dome is the only thing that's listed about the whole wow. building, that's the only bit they have to keep. Yeah, do you think they're going to actually build seven screens in the basement when it actually comes to it? I said eight screens, eight, eight screens, 100 seater, mm -hmm. and two floors of shops, Yeah. two floors of offices. Uh, they were going to have a roof restaurant up here, but yeah. they weren't given planning permission for it. Oh, nice. Because, I mean, this company now has owned the plaza for quite a number of years yes. and UCI has operated it for them, As haven't management, they? management, yes. That's right, yes, yeah, and have. finally it's happened. Finally it's happened. We never thought we'd see the day. They had to get a lot of planning permission through, of course. Really? Because it was Crown Estates, yes. Westminster City Council, yes. Chelsfield, who owned the lease. Yes. And they were all fighting for different things, so... Oh, wow, it's taken it's all this time, about four or five years, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing finally come to fruition and oh. I'm so miserable that I'm going. <laughs> So if they knock this floor down and what you're selling us about when the store is listed, they, they take the door off. And they have to put it back, back somewhere, somewhere in the new building. Wow. Mm. But there are a few of them. I know that's one of them. I, I don't know where wow. the others are. Wow, that is a nice door, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's a beautiful door. So where are you taking us now, sir? Um, here we go. Okay. Still some more rooms. Oh, lovely. And what Look like a big lounge room or something because it's got a little, it's like a little apartment. Oh, look at this. See, the little floors. Look at those chairs. They must be Yeah, must be sweet Oh, look. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a lovely room, isn't it? Yeah. And they've got their own balcony. Yeah. And a nice bedroom. Goodness. So I've had to spin a few things going on up here. <laughs> it's probably your friend from downstairs there in the other flat. <laughs> well, look at this. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's an old sideboard. Should be like Sarah. Well, that's almost antique, isn't it? This is antique. I'm sure this is. That's not antique. No. Not What's the date well, on the newspaper? Oh, the date on the newspaper. Oh, it's... 2000. Oh, oh 1999. 
I mean, who would believe this is actually in a cinema? Now, the thing is, what you've got to do is actually take things like this because they'll only just be demolished. They will be. That's yeah. Oh, I asked Charles Bill. Um, excuse that's, that's me, friend. Point. This is where Jeffrey Archer ran his mayoral campaign from. Never. His failed mayoral campaign. Good grief. Wow, really? Yes, absolutely. Cool, wow. So it's quite possible Mr. Archer sat in these chairs. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's that's really good, that part, right? Did you know he was oh, here? Yes, we knew he was here. Really? Yeah, he did. He was one of the few that didn't complain. Ah, uh, excellent. Uh, okay. Water bottle drunk by Jeffrey Archer. I wouldn't want to go in there because I'm about. Planning to move off, finding room for Plaza One. There's not a staff room in there, Barbara. That used to be the girls. Operators. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a toilet in there. And this was an old. Oh, look me in. Not a lot to see, it's a little space. But thinking back when there's a single screen, this was the projection room entrance. See where you are now, Sarah? Yeah. That was the box door to get into the projection room. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Because if you go all, I, I don't know why this happened now, it's here. Um, there's there's a, a cable, a USB cable on that, so when you open the door, the cable will close it again because of nitrate film. But you used to get in the box there and go through. Up some stairs. Well, look at these wooden doors. Yeah. What is this? There? That one there. Oh. And through there, you can get to pass the street again, can't you? Because there's fans through there. This is this used to be clocking on, didn't it, Barbara? This used to be the clocking on room. Yes. That's right. So the clocking in. And it's interesting to see some of this. This this is probably from the original cinema. Yes, that is. Yeah. Do you know, Sarah, do you know where the entrance to Plaza One is around there? That used to be the bar when it was a single screen cinema oh, yeah. and a theatre before that. Apparently, I'm not sure if it was Costa Paul told me that, but oh. have you ever, you've never seen any of the original pictures. There used to be a book in your office. Yes. No. Yeah. Now the door we have here is actually the side door to Plaza One. You know, when we were doing special shows, we used to creep in there and sit down. Okay, we're down on the back of actually what was originally Plaza 2 and the rear stalls of the original Plaza and Sarah. On this wall here yeah. and the appropriate wall in Plaza 3 on the other side, 
used to be a montage of posters. And um, this was in the CIC days. And as posters came, they'd stick, say, a corner of a poster so you could actually see which film it was. And it'd be a montage of posters all over this wall. And it looked really good. And then UCI come along. I mean, UCI run great multiplexes. I mean, yeah. I'm biased, I know. Yeah. They, they know how to run a multiplex. But when they took over the cinema, they didn't understand West End. And it's yeah. probably not their fault. And it was all taken down. But this was so theatrical. Wow, there uh, is life beyond <laughs> 200 years. Yeah. Have you ever felt a ghost in here? No. No? Well, it's funny because, um, talking about projectionists and ghosts, apparently in um, Hatfield, mm -hmm. you know, Hatfield, there was one in the booth. The booth really? manager always used to go on about it. People just wouldn't go up. Oh, nice. Or close at midnight. Yes. Yeah. So here we are, we're in box four. Gold FP20. Sarah, do you know what I was telling you about projections got pushed over? It was here, I was in this room here, where Amanda, who was at the Prince Charles, got frisky thrown across the floor. Yeah. And this box has been known to start up on its own as well. You got the amp back. Still here from when I was here. <laughs> And this is back between number four and number three projection box. Um, this is my favourite one. This is the only one I've brought. Well, I haven't laced it up for myself, oh, yeah. but I've actually got a projectionist to lace up. Gone into come the next day, turned on all the equipment and done it right and trying to film myself. And well like, done. Yay. Hey, good for you. I could probably lace it up. It's yeah. Just like, I won't attempt to do it. Oh, lovely. But I did have to get my ex-boyfriend, who was at Mr. Young's, to come over and <laughs> just go, yeah, you're doing the right thing. <laughs> well, Brilliant. Right. I can see these portals here, they've got a metal door, and there. Now this is on the fire alarm, so if the fire alarm goes off, they automatically close. Well this is true, like you say, modern technology, <laughs> cotton buds, yeah. and Mr. Muscle. Are yeah. Always there, absolutely. Oh lovely, should we go back up to the foyer? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. back up from three and four, back to the street level, which is the foyer and plaza two. That's Sarah. On your special evenings, you must have seen a lot of celebrities in this cinema. Yes, we've had royal street directors. Really? Three to a lot of um, stress PR people. Yes. Three to a lot of um, stress writers to all kinds of celebrities to TV, mm -hmm. film, everywhere, you name it. And you find it exciting? find it exciting, a buzz to see them, but it's not like, oh my god, they're a celebrity. I mean, I'm sort of over that phase of things. I mean, as far as, I'm used to it, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, I'd love to meet Stanley Kubrick, but you know, I know. I'd have to go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go back. Well, back in time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I know. I mean, we did all the premises of the Empire and actually shot Steven Spielberg's hand one there, and that was. Yeah. There's nothing after that. Yeah. You know, yeah. but you, you, like you say, you know, everybody's manic because they're only interested in their little bit of it. That's and it. you know. It can be a nightmare at times, yeah. but you have to be nice to them all. That's Because that's your yeah. job and that's being professional. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's been a fantastic time working here. And we'll miss it, but we'll remember always the good times and the bad times. Yeah. Plaza will always be the part of my life. Oh, fabulous. Oh, thank you, Sarah.